Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here. So following on from the previous video that we shot a couple of weeks ago talking briefly about the benefits and um, disadvantages of stick wax and how it might benefit you as a player, at the end of that video I mentioned performance wax and that we'd be taking a look at it later on after we'd had a chance to mess around with it. So after having used this stuff for a number of weeks, um, I just thought I'd cover some of the sort of um, experiences that we've had with it and of course what this stuff is and how it can help you. So what we're going to be doing in this video is taking a look at Proformance Wax. So this is um, stick wax, of course, as I mentioned in the last video, but of course there's loads of different brands and types of stick wax on the market for hockey players. So what makes this one so special? The main difference between this stick wax and the others that are on the market is the Proformance stick wax has been specially formulated and designed for hockey players. So there's three sort of main advantages that separate this stuff from any other wax that's on the market, and that's what we're going to go through in this video. The first point about this wax that makes this stuff incredibly unique and very, very beneficial for any hockey player is the fact that it's been specially designed for hockey players, like I said earlier on. A lot of the stick waxes that you use currently, um, they give you a nice tacky feel on the end of the stick. The main advantage of stick wax is the fact that it gives you that tacky feel, so enhanced puck control, and also allows you to protect the um, tape and the blade of the stick from the ice and snow buildup that you get on the stick blade after you've been using it for a while on the ice. But the problem with the stick wax that we have currently is that it's good at sort of room temperature. When you get it out on the ice and you're sort of playing towards the second and third um, period of the game, the wax becomes very, very hard and gets cold. So that means that you lose that tacky feeling, which is the whole point of putting the stick wax on your stick. But with the Proformance stuff, because this has been formulated for hockey players, that tackiness remains regardless of what temperature the, the wax gets to, which is the first benefit of the um, Proformance wax. So that's definitely one of the um, main issues with stick wax that Proformance have been able to address and eliminate. One of the other things that I really love about this stuff is it allows each player to create a completely unique and customised feel of their stick blade. Because of the unique way that the Proformance wax is applied to your stick blade, you can control how tacky or how slick you want the stick while you're applying the wax. So let's quickly cover the way it works. So I've got my stick blade over here, I'll quickly run through uh, me waxing my stick shortly. So in case you're wondering what all of the different wax containers here are for, um, the different sort of options that you have here are different packages that you can get with Proformance wax. The smaller ones over here are the exact same thing that you have with the bigger ones over here, but of course they're much, much smaller, and this is what Proformance calls their starter kit. So the bottom ones over here, it costs, I believe it's about $6.99, um, for UK prices and European prices, there'll be links down below in the video description to where you guys can go pick it up. Uh, but this is the starter kit over here. Even um, considering the sort of sizes of these and the amount that you pay for them, it's excellent value for money and you get all of the um, sets of wax included inside that starter kit. So of course taking a look at the um, different sets that are over here. Uh, the way the wax works is the first thing that you want to apply first is going to be this base layer over here. The way the base layer works, it's what offers the initial protection and also the um, surface for the next layer of wax that you apply to be able to stick to and stay there. So the first point that you use is this one here. The next thing that you do with this wax is you have these two choices over here. You have the Proformance uh, Pro Control, which offers you a sort of mild tackiness to the stick. So if you're just looking for a little bit of extra control um, and a little bit more puck spin on your shots, this will be a good one to use. The next one in the green container over here is the max control. So if you're looking for an incredibly tacky stick, something that the puck's going to stick to, um, it'll be excellent for if you're trying to sort of perfect loads of different tricks with scooping the puck up, or if you want really, really um, crazy spin on your shots that you take, then this will be a, a great sort of um, wax to apply after you've put the base coat on. So in case you're wondering what the last one over here, this orange one over here is for, this is the grip. So this is something that would um, be benefited by goalies using it, or if you find yourself losing grip when you're holding your stick with the um, top hand, this is something that you could use to apply to the top of the stick to give you enhanced grip. So great for players and also excellent for goalies. So that's definitely another plus to this uh, performance wax combination that you get over here. The bigger containers over here, they're really good because the, in terms of the way that they're packaged and stored, it means it's easy to throw into your hockey bag and it means that the wax won't get sort of battered up and, and damaged while it's inside your bag. It has this sort of a, like lip balm type casing where you simply unscrew the wax uh, when you want to use it, uh, depending on how much you need to be, to be able to apply, but you can quickly sort of pack it away and keep it nice and safe and um, hopefully increase the, the length of this thing uh, while you're using it. But it means that, of course, it's easy to share around the locker room and it lasts a hell of a lot um, longer than the, the smaller ones over here. So so it's good value for money to go for the big ones. In terms of the prices for the big ones, I believe they're $9.99 each. There'll be, again, links down below in the video description so you can just double check on all of the prices for the different wax combinations. So if you wanted to see what the wax is like, be sure to check out the sort of um, starter kit that you get, which is $6.99 as I said earlier. Prices and links will be down below in the video description to pick it up. And this one gives you the full set. So you get the base coat, you get the Proformance, which is the sort of mild tackiness, 
the max, which is the incredibly tacky feel, and you also get the grip, which is the one that you apply to the top of your stick to give you enhanced grip, and also this is great for goalies as well. So if you go for the starter kit, you get all of those at $6.99, which is great value for money. So if you're one of those players that's never really used stick wax before, this is a great opportunity to give it a go and see if it can help the way that you play. One of the things that I really like about the Max Control, which is the one that I've been using quite a lot, is the fact that when you're taking wrist shots and then snapshots, it adds incredible puck spin because the puck sticks onto the blade of the stick much, much more. When you sort of um, snap your wrists back and get that rolling action on the puck, this really, really helps to add a lot of spin into the puck. So it's something that's quite fun to use just to see how much power you can get out of your shots and how much spin, uh, which is always a bonus. So definitely give this one a go if you're going to be trying these out and uh, have a play with the different options to see which one suits your style of playing. The main benefit that I like about this stick wax when compared to the other waxes is not only the um, sort of customised feel that I can create with my stick blade, but it's also the fact that it lasts a hell of a lot longer than any of the other stick blades, uh, the, uh, any of the other sorry, uh, waxes that I've used. I've had instances where you sort of have to apply the wax on and after you've played a few games the wax is gone, the, the stick tape is battered and you've got to replace it with some more. But the good thing about this stuff is that once you put it onto the blade of your stick, it lasts an incredibly long time. And not only does it offer you those advantages of enhanced puck control and adding the spin onto your shots, but it also protects the stick blade and the stick tape. So you find that you're taping up your stick a hell of a lot less than you would be if you weren't waxing the um, stick blade. What we're going to do is going to get two sticks after we've um, finished up here. We're going to head back onto the ice. I'm going to throw my gear on and we're going to uh, mess around with some sticks with wax and mess around with some sticks without wax just to show you the sort of difference in ice build up that the sticks will generate and um, sort of to hopefully highlight how effective the performance wax is on protecting your stick blade from the ice and snow build up. Um, I've been using this stuff for about four weeks. I've only had to wax my stick once and I've only had to tape it up once. The only reason that you can see a fresh uh, line of tape over here right now is for the purpose of this video, but this stuff really does improve the life length of the stick blade and the tape that you put on it, so it's definitely a bonus and it's something that I definitely recommend you guys check out. So what I'm going to do now is just apply some wax onto my stick just to show you the sort of ways that you can do it. Keep in mind, of course, the way that you tape your stick up and the way that you wax your stick are completely personal preference, but I'm just going to do it the way that I like to do it. If you want to see a video on how to tape up your stick or how to wax your stick, check down below. There'll be, there'll be a link down to hockeytutorial.com where you can check that out. So what I'm going to do now is just apply some wax. Of course, we're going to start with a base coat. Just go ahead and open this up. Like I said, the way you wax your stick is completely personal preference, but the way that I'm going to do it now is just by following the sort of ridges of the tape. So uh, if I did, was to do it the other way around, I'd end up rolling the tape up, which I don't want to do, so I'm going to sort of follow the um, patterns of the tape to keep it nice and planted to the stick. Um, in terms of this tape job that I've done over here, it's not very good, it's just something that I've thrown on quickly for the sake of this video. So let's go ahead and get started. The amount of wax that you put on, of course, is completely personal preference, that's up to you. But the way that I've always waxed my stick is just, I just sort of do the bottom part and the middle part of the stick because the top part over here doesn't really come into contact with the puck a lot. So for me personally, there's no need for me to wax that very much because it's just wasting wax in my eyes. I'm just gonna get a little bit on the toe over there. Keep going down the stick. You can go down and get these ridges over here, that's completely up to you, but um, for this sake of the video, I will get those ridges because it does kind of annoy me if they're not done. And what I also find is that the ice and slush builds up in those ridges if they don't have any wax on them at all. So I'm just going to go through them as quickly as I can just to get a bit of wax in there. Same again with the back, only going to do the um, sort of bottom and the middle because that's the part of the stick blade that comes into contact with the puck the most. Get some of this down the uh, ridges down there. There we go. I'm going to quickly go over it with the Max cover because that's the one that I like to use for a little bit of extra tackiness. Of course, if you're going to be using your, uh, some black stick tape, it might be better to go with uh, some white just if you are bothered by the way that the stick looks after the wax. But I'm not too concerned. And as soon as I'm finished doing this, we're going to take it out onto the ice and see how this stuff holds up. There we go.
of those, same brand. And what we've got over here is the one on my left over here, so this one here, has the performance wax on it. This one over here has the traditional wax. We've been using them, taking shots and a bit of stick handling for the exact same amount of time. And hopefully you'll be able to notice the difference between the um, snow buildup. Uh, we've used them the exact same way, taking as many shots as uh, with each stick. But you can see this one over here with the performance wax has much, much less um, ice and slush buildup when compared to this one over here with the traditional wax. Quick example of um, how good this stuff actually is and how effective it is on the ice. So uh, yeah, I personally do like the wax. I really like it. It's nice and grippy that I use the max wax. I mean, um, when you shoot the puck, you get, you get plenty of spin with it as well. So, you know, your shots are nice and accurate. You get way more power with them. Stick handling is brilliant. You know, it's like um, you get plenty of grip. When you get plenty of grip, when you're trying to stick handle, pushing the puck up the ice, the puck stays exactly where you want it to. So, you know, I would, personally, I would recommend the wax. For the extra couple of quid, I think it's well worth it. I mean, you, you won't look back. I mean, this, this wax, is it's quite something, because I've always used wax, but I mean, this stuff is it's in a league of its own. It's really, really catered for hockey players. And, you know, I love the customization of it as, as well. Just touching on the, the main things I really like about the wax, it's definitely going to be the uh, max wax. I really like the uh, amount of tackiness you get on the end of the stick blade. But it sounds like something pretty silly to say, but I really like the way the wax smells as well. It's one of those little tiny features that you notice when it's in your stick bag, when it's in the car, when it's drying. A uh, little nice feature that I like. Definitely love it. Also um, love the uh, variety of different choices. The fact that you can also have a uh, grip for the um, top of your stick as well, which is pretty sweet. So overall, after having another experience testing the wax out, we've used a couple of sticks with normal stick wax and some with performance wax. Um, I've spoken to a couple of the other hockey players that have used this stuff, they really, really like it. The fact that you can customise the amount of tackiness that you have on the stick is excellent, but the main feature is how long this stuff lasts. It means that you're going through much less stick tape, you're protecting the base of the um, stick blade, and as you saw the comparison video clip that I rolled around earlier on with the stick with normal wax and then performance wax, you saw which one had the majority of the ice and snow build-up. So this is definitely something that we definitely recommend. Um, it's something that any hockey player any level can use. It's just a case of finding whichever sort of um, customization you like. If it's the Pro um, uh, Overcoat that gives you sort of a, a mild tackiness or the Max Overcoat that gives you incredibly tacky feel on the end of your stick. Definitely recommend it. If you want more information about this stuff out, there'll be um, a link down below in the video description to where you can go pick it up and also if you want to see a full page article about it. But thanks a lot for um, watching the video. Hopefully this has given you a better insight. And like I said at the start, if you want more information about why you should wax your stick, there'll be a link to a, another video that I've shot previously in the video description down below. Just wanted to say a massive thank you to the guys at Peter Rystring for letting us record this video. Stay tuned for the next one. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and of course follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Take care.